Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Sarah and I'm Fauzan. And welcome to, to the, the third, third episode of, of Intertwine. We would like to wish everyone happy 2019. She's back. Sarah is back. Yeah, it, I'm back. We would like to thank everyone who have watched our first two episodes and followed us through. And for the comments that we received We really appreciate them, and they really made us happy. Um, Afex comments on improvement, and Nurni says, "Well wishes for my being." I found that very sweet. Thank you very much, Nurni. It no. does motivate us to go through this vlogging. Alhamdulillah. Stay tuned with us. So, 2019, huh? 2019. So much has happened in 2018. So there's definitely highlights and lowlights. And when I was scrolling through Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or any of the social media out there, people were uploading their highlights of 2018. It just made me realize one thing: when you want to upload something on social media, usually it's the highlights of your life. Should we really celebrate the highlights? I mean, we should, but what really made the highlights? It's actually the lowlights. So, for example, hmm? faham ka? Yeah. For example, we just celebrated the fact that I got my voice back, so that's like a highlight. But mm. the lowlight of it, the time when I was sick, it gave an impact to me. It gave me. A huge reflection, and having that reflection made me grow. It wasn't the fact that I have my voice that made me grow; it was the fact that I lost my voice. If your highlight is you have graduated, graduation is one thing. It was just a moment in time, but what made you graduate is the endless time of you studying day and night, in and out, pressures from your peers, from your parents. Yeah, so. The lowlights are actually the ones that really make the highlights. Maybe for some people, they feel like their 2018 was nothing, or they didn't achieve anything. Trust me, you did. For being able to survive until today, for being able to go through that 365 days, congratulations to all of you who has went through the lowlights. Your tears, your blood, your Sweat. Your sweat. Stinky sweat. That made you grow into this person you are in 2019. So, you might be wondering, what about us, right? What's our highlights? What's our highlight? I guess when we say our highlight, it's not individual, right? It's our. Of course, I would say our marriage. Our marriage. Which happened on the twenty fourth of June, two thousand eighteen. Yes, and that's a date I shouldn't forget. On to two thousand nineteen. What's gonna be happening in two thousand nineteen for us? Hmm. Mm. Uh, we wanna be healthier, happier. I cook more. Cook more. Be more fit. We can start vlogging it. We take pictures of my abs. See how it works out. Aurat. Tapi nda lah. Pasanya showing your aurat. That's not fitness. That's fitna. <laughs> One of the biggest goals to manage our time well, especially now that we have more responsibilities. We want to be able to see how far we can go with our ibadah. A locating time for reciting the Quran together, praying together, more. The hajit. Mm -hmm. Definitely. <laughs> so we're not here to talk about how to do goal setting, but we also want to remind ourselves and yourselves that when we want to do goal setting, you should relate it back to your purpose of life. So, as a Muslim, our purpose of life are 
to serve and please Otsuma. And making our goals, for example, health and fitness, it should be for the sake of Allah. When we're fit, we'll be able to do our prayers more energetically. Yeah, and plus, this body is a pinjaman daripada Allah SWT and it is our responsibility to take good care of it. So that's why health and fitness is important, especially for us Muslims. So, we've told you our 2019 goals and we've told you how we should approach in setting our goals. So, share with us, what are some of your goals for 2019? We look forward to reading your comments and your goals. And with that, see, see you in the, the next, next episode. episode. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. What? Yeah. Done.